The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a couple of quotes in there. The one that I liked the most was from Albert Einstein, and he says, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. Uh, that dude died in 1955, and I'll tell you what, uh, that, that quote has arrived. You know, <laughs> It's just totally amazing. I had something really bad happen yesterday, folks. Uh, you know, I play poker here about twice a month, and we have a big uh, Christmas uh, tournament here. And uh, one of my really good buddies, uh, he's, a, he's 67 years old. He still plays adults, uh, senior softball. Uh, he woke up. Uh, this is this is Wednesday. He woke up uh, Wednesday morning. I just talked to him last night. He woke up. He woke up out of bed on uh, Monday morning, and he was totally paralyzed. Three quarters of his body was paralyzed. Uh, he hasn't had a stroke. They don't know what's wrong with him or anything, but uh, he's in pretty bad shape. He very spirits are really down, as you could possibly imagine. And uh, he is in the hospital. Uh, you can't go see him, even though the hospital isn't full here and we have very little COVID. Uh, they still don't allow you to go into the hospitals to see it. So send some prayers to him because God, that guy is healthy as a horse. And it's just truly amazing, you know, how well... Uh, uh, or how life can change in a heartbeat, folks. Like like I say, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, because you don't know when that double O is going to pop up on the roulette wheel or not, that's for sure. I want to walk through something that, you know, I post these things for my AI program. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to give you a perfect example today. Here, Here's what I'm looking at today, and then I want to show you what happened yesterday and, and the experience that I had with it. This says this market is not going to top until between... Uh, around between 11 and 11:30 that's the number okay now remember this has nothing to do with anything it's all related on time it has nothing to do with price it's related to time fortunately it's going to be happening between now and 11:30 if it's going to happen and we'll walk through it but let me walk through what happened yesterday and why i want to why i think it's so very important because someone actually was doing some of these trades and which i expect you you know to do some of them but if you remember Remember yesterday, I was posting these charts just like I did just now. Let me get this up here and take a look at it. And if you notice, you can see the ABCD pattern that was there. That was lined up very nicely. And that said, you should be a buyer of the S&P. But before that time, you know, I had sent out a um, – a chart on the E-mini S&P that, that should be sold at the uh, – just, just get this up here because, I, I you know, I do – I do 15-minute charts most of the time, but look at that. You see that 382 at 4605? That's the one that was my highlight uh, of the morning. And you, you see we came down at 382, right at a 382 retracement, right at 1130 when that thing was supposed to be bottoming, and it did. Now, the gentleman sold it at 382 at 4605. He wrote it all the way down to 4572 and didn't didn't change his stop he ended up losing you know 15 points on it when he had it at one time he had he was up over uh, 1500 dollars well if you add 750 to the amount that he had made that was a 2200 dollars swing folks when when you got that much money in and you're risking 750 okay and it gives you 1500 you know you use just a tiny remember we're only day trading you know this isn't monthly stuff you know, so d just do that. Uh, you know, you got to be able to. You got to be able to hang, hang with it and do it. And remember, these things only work part of the time. You know, that's the whole thing. You know, it's just the main thing. There's. The, the, let me show you. Here's another reason why you should have been getting out of that. If you sold it at forty six oh five, look at the A B C D there at forty five seventy four. I mean, you got it. You got to get out of it. I mean, there's your low of the day. The rest of the day, you see, it has a at least a positive bias. 
if nothing nothing else and so that's why i think it's that's why i think it's important now look at this this is the re i hate hey, hey, i'm going to go through this in just a second here all right there's the ABCD, okay? Now you see the key time that happened right at 11.30. You see a key time happened at uh, right around 11.45. And you see the, another one happened at around uh, 1 o'clock, okay? Now, you, some, some of these you, you can't trade. Now, there's little tiny ABCDs in here, but there's nothing else that you can do. I'm th Today's the last day I'm going to post a uh, an AI for two reasons. One is most people don't understand how it works, and the second reason is that's not my job here. My job here is to give you some ideas and answer the questions that come in. That's what I, that's what I try to do. But uh, I, we're looking at that S&P. Now, I'm going to do a couple of quick things here just to show you what we're looking at here uh, in the s and If we look at this S&P just on the ABCD a, format, okay, you can see here that at 46.64, okay, now that's showing a 50% retracement off the high. The actual number that you're looking at is that 618 up there at uh, 4684, I believe is the number, but the time is not until 1130. Now we're gonna watch that to see if it does it. Now you'll notice that that pullback that you have on the CD leg was exactly right at the BC leg was exactly 382, spot on. That's how you use those to, you know, to tell you whether that market is turning or not. Because you you don't, you know, the A you never know what's going to happen next. God darn, that's a hard thing to you know understand when you're trading, but you really don't know what's going to happen next, and you never will. You know, I, I, I can remember, I can remember one of my one of my customers uh, would come in. Uh, Ty Andrews, he was a uh, with the Mod Squad. He was Captain Greer. He would come in probably three four days a week into the office before he went on set for Mod Squad, and he had some of the funniest things. And one of the funniest ones, I was talking to a to a guy uh, on the phone here, and uh, you know, I said, "Well, look, we're." You know we're 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 losing just a little bit here, but you know I think it's going to be okay. I was trying to calm him down a little bit, you know. And so uh, Ty wrote on a piece of paper backwards S L B S. And so I and I'm looking at it and I said I said just a minute, Howie. And I I asked what what do you mean? He said S L. Tell him it's still losing but slowly. <laughs> <laughs> another one another day i was in there and uh, a guy came in to one of the other brokers office and he was yelling and screaming and everything and something had happened with one of his I, I, it was some gambling stock that he was in and he, he screamed out he says god i won't say the, the this expletive that he uses if i go long i lose money if i go short i lose money and if i don't trade i miss a hell of an opportunity and my boss, who was trying to, you know, calm everything down, he said, yeah, you just about described what it's all about. <laughs> and that's true. You just don't know which ones are going to win and which ones aren't, folks. That's the key, you know, to what we're looking at here. So let's remind ourselves. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. So that's what I wanted to bring to your attention so far this morning. We've got a couple others that uh, look really interesting here this morning. I wanted to bring to your attention one of the ones that we talked about yesterday, Bo asked a question about nike now remember these markets have been extremely strong here we'll talk about nike when we get back folks 877-927-6648 keep those cards and letters coming in merry christmas merry new year as billy ray valentine would say You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we want to talk about Nike here, and someone, hold on a sec. Da, 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 da. Okay, hold on just a second here, folks. I had to check a message. Uh, I posted the chart of that Nike. Now, this has nothing to do, you know, they had a big earnings thing, and you can see here it went right up to the 78% uh, level, 61% of the exact high. That's a 135 pattern, folks. That's all that is. Uh, I want to thank Bo for bringing that to our attention. I never look at stock. Well, I don't never look at stocks. I seldom look at stocks. Uh oh, I will do that. And who? Oh, that's Santa calling in for last. Why do these people bother me? I don't understand. Okay, let's not worry about it. That's just a scam call from uh, the Republican Party asking for donations. And I tell you, that would uh, let's not worry about that. I'm worried about the people more or less related down here in, in Kentucky and something like that. Sorry for the ringing of the phone, folks, but it's on the other side of the room, and I can't uh, I can't reach it. It'll be done here right now. They only let it ring three times. Okay, that's the Nike. You see. It's got extremely bullish news, and yet it only goes up to those numbers, and now it's starting to roll over. That's a that's a bad sign, folks. You know, they these people they buy when these earnings are really great, and they jump it up and stuff. I don't know, but we're coming up really close to that number, folks, in the E mini S and P, where time and price come together. Uh, I, I can't update it from here, but we are spot on right now. Within the next ten minutes, we should be rolling over somewhere between here and 43, uh, 80, 40. <laughs> Let's try it again, Larry. 46.85 is what we'll be looking at. And we've got another one that's very important that we've had in the focusing on in the news, not the newsletter, but in the uh, the. Uh, the grain part that we worked with uh, Mr. Z that we put into the day. hold on wow a lot of things happening today people are asking some types of things so uh, we've got Mr. Z on the line with March Corn and Mr. Z that's what I've been trying to put up on the machine here but I can't find it how are you my friend happy holidays to you Merry New Year Merry Christmas yes Larry good day Merry Christmas to you and your clan Yes, thank you very much. And there's a clan, let me tell you. There, Go ahead, my friend. What are you looking at? I'm calling in to ask you to pull up your daily charts on the March corn and those March beans and show uh -huh. us on that chart work where you see potential uh -huh. for short-term highs forming. 
Uh, well, I'm take both, as you know. Uh, okay. Thanks for having Rich Anderson on yesterday and discussing yeah. all those things. We have a uh, good price movement the past three days in both of those. Uh, of course, that'd be uh, fund buyers uh, domestically and those others who use Globex, the Chicago Board of Trade, adding to their longs without any sellers and a catalyst for the buying the past three days is uh, adverse weather showing up down in southern Brazil and Argentina. Mm-hmm. So uh, so we're, we're moving. We now know what the catalyst for the buy interest uh, is. I'm curious if your chart work uh, displays any price levels up at these areas now that we've gotten up 630, 640 on the beans and 605, mm-hmm. 615 on the corn. Just okay. be cognizant of price levels that are candidates or price levels that we'd want to mo- monitor for buying exhaustion and potential short-term topping action. That's the well, reason it, I'm calling. Uh, well, I think I have some ideas you might want to take a look at. I posted the chart of the March corn, as you can see here, that has been a decidedly on a bullish path heading you know, considerably above you know, the, uh, that level we were looking at, which is, a re- I believe, at around six, uh, 605. But what I've done so far today is I was watching this in anticipation of your call, and I want to bring up this chart. This is the four-hour chart, and we're now making an ABCD pattern up here at the 606 level. Now, the daily chart gives a price objective of 610. So there's a four cent difference. Now, this is my get out of town trade because I'm not going to worry about that last four cents. I'm going to leave that to the people that are really greedy. And I'm more in the category of being in the needy. So I am out of the corn. I'm certainly looking for uh, a retracement here. And if I miss it, there's nothing else I can do about it. I certainly I have missed a lot in the past, but that you're asking me how I handle it, my friend, and that's what I'm doing. I've got to leave some on the table for somebody else, and that's what I'm doing. The beans are a totally different story. If you look here at the March soybeans, and we saw this major bottom that we had here in beans, this was a, Z, we talked about this before. This was three and a half weeks ago. We were down there at 1220 a bushel. We were sitting right at a perfect head and shoulders pattern. I mean, you can see the distance between the left shoulder and the right shoulder is equal in time. The right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder, defining that it is bullish. It's got right at a 61% retracement there at 1232. We're now trading substantially above that. The ABCD pattern on this tells you you're going to get to at least 1325, somewhere in that ballpark. So that's what it looks like in the beans. Different than the corn because, and the corn might go a whole lot higher. All I know is I trade the patterns, so and when I get to that seven eight six level, which is six ten, and already, I'm already out because six oh six was my A B C D pattern. So that's that's how I'm handling. But but beans still have uh, some more. Have they hit thirteen? Uh, are they much above thirteen now? Uh, Z, I haven't checked them this morning. I apologize. I'm not looking at that chart right as we speak, so sorry. Okay. Not a, no, not not a problem. But that's that's how I handle it. You know, I I don't try to get the exact low tick on anything uh, or the high tick. I just say if that's reached my price objective, uh, I'm happy with it. Sure, I might make another four cents in the corn, maybe even a lot more. But I'm happy with what the trade turned out, and that's that's really all I'm trying to do. I don't look at the fundamentals. I worry about reports when they come out, but I keep it as simple as possible. Great, Larry. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll just um, I'll add one uh, related but different point uh, before I sign off, and that has to do with soybean oil. Now, you've you've uh, talked many times about trades uh, you're doing, trades you've done over the past decades. Uh, I will just uh, uh, state for full disclosure here in 2021. I did nothing uh, with the soybean oil contract. Of course, as mm-hmm. you know, I was very active uh, in the soybean futures themselves, yes. especially January through May, June. But on soybean oil, the government, uh, the federal government this year uh, released new rules and regulations governing increased use requirements 
for production of biodiesel to fuel both trucks and airplanes, jets. And that is biodiesel, frankly, is just soybean oil. There's a little bit of other stuff, but for practical purposes, it's soybean oil. And those mandates that have been put forth this year, and those are locked into law now, uh, require increased soybean oil use for biodiesel. And frankly, Larry, it's very much analogous to the to what uh, the government did with corn for ethanol back in 2005. Yeah. So yeah. looking the next year, I'm looking for soybean oil buyers on dips and uh, bought it a week ago for, for what it's worth. My friend, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you and your family, Z. And we'll have a wonderful new year coming up in 2022. Volatility is going to be the name of the game, my friend. Thank be you, safe. Larry. You bet. Be safe, John. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, since we were talking with Mr. Z, I checked on the soybeans, and we've been up to 1315. That number we were looking at on March beans for the target was 1320. Uh, I got out of the corn at uh, 606, and uh, I didn't do that for the 24-7 group because I missed it because of the fact that we were doing too many other things. It, they still worked out okay, but corn has already broken a nickel from where I got out, so that's neither here nor there. Now, what I'm going to be looking at, uh, there was. Uh, let me get. Uh, let me get uh, moving on here uh, for just a second here. 
uh, on this uh, e-mini. I just posted it. Uh, we should be turning down now, folks. This is a real simple one. Honest to God, it really is. If it makes a new high, you're flat out wrong. A high has been, what, uh, 80 for 46.74, uh, 46.69 would have been the trigger. Anything above, you risk a nickel. That's all you have to risk. And you're talking about a contract that's worth uh, a whole lot of money, over 200 grand. So, you know, you're risking very, very little. So that's what it's all about. It's all about the risk control. You know, I don't have any control over it, but I know it's a little confusing on these things. And uh, what I try to do is to make it interesting here because, you know, people don't use artificial intelligence too much because it's very expensive to, you know, implement a program. It's taken me many years to try to figure it out. And I still don't know part of it, so or a great deal of it. But I do know one thing. I do know risk control. And uh, if you get in there and you don't have to risk very much, that's a whole key, you know, to what we were watching. Someone's asked a question about the corn i'll just give you an example this is all i was looking at folks this is not rocket science what do you mean partial chart it shouldn't have been oh no that's not good oh you know what i forgot to do i'm sorry folks i forgot to change the scale on these puppies and that's the problem oh hold on just a second here just give me one little second and we will be okay i gotta go from 150 to 100 there we go. Now we're ready to go here. Let's move on and we'll get these up here. There we go. This is the one I wanted to show you right here. There we go. The number that we were looking at here, it was uh, the trigger for, for my purposes was at uh, 46.69. That's what I did. I'm risking 10 cents on that. And, uh, and if it's right, it should start to go down. If it doesn't, I'm going to be wrong. I'm not going to be sad. I'm, there's no big deal. I'm not, not even going to worry about it. I mean, it's just neither here nor there. Now, there's another one that's coming up that still might happen. Look at this one here. This is, the, this is Treasury bonds, folks. We didn't get filled at 161.20 earlier in the morning, so we still have that order setting in there to sell at that 382 retracement. Now, believe me, it is the 382 retracement. I didn't change the handle from uh, the 20th because I forgot, but uh, seem to be forgetting a lot of things these days. Anyways, mainly because I'm very busy. Actually, folks, this time of the year, especially this week, uh, we try to do a lot of things for the community stuff uh, because, believe me, life has been so good to me, folks. I, 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 When I see what happened to my friend Howie, I say to myself, oh, my God, what would I do if that happened to me? I, I don't even know. But uh, let's let's not think about that. Think about some good things here today. But anyway, we're watching the bonds at 161.20. That's a 382 retracement, folks. The bond market is very bearish and I, that's why I'm looking at that. I know nothing about the fundamentals. All I know, it's been getting hammered, and it keeps getting hammered, and all the rallies are 382, and that's all I need to do is to figure that out, and that's all I, I really cared about. So let's remind ourselves of that. Okay, now let's move on. We've covered that. Uh, we've covered what else I think we've done here. Oh, natural gas. This is a very good one here. Let's get this up here. I want to get here to show you on the natural gas because this is what we've been watching i have an update this is this is the one i did for the 21st of course this was yesterday's you'll see we made that pullback there that was a 61 percent pullback uh we've all we went up and we've taken out the highs of uh the 16th and we got up to a 40 uh, i think 401 402 the key level up there is that that 407 folks that was the high on the 13th of december if we can get above that that'll tell us that yes the bottom may be in i was looking for the bottom to come in maybe at around the 350 level but i'm still waiting to see if uh do anything i can't do the hang saying now g7 because i just don't have uh uh, you know what I can do it. Uh, I'll do it at the break because then what I what I have to do is I've got to go in, change the size of the charts, move back and forth. But I have to do a video for the Hang Seng uh, tonight, so I'll definitely be doing that for sure. So that's the main thing. A question is posed: Do I think the top is in? I have to go by what my friend, uh, who's I think it is, but this is a chart that I posted uh, way back. Uh, on December the 10th, that we were looking for this thing to get up between 47.27 plus or minus five points, and the high was 47.32. You can't get any more accurate than that. As long as we don't take out 47.32, I think the high is in. 
And all we're seeing now, these are yesterday with that big volume and everything, open interest drops. Where are the new buyers coming, boys and girls? In order to get this supermarket to work, you're going to have to have product, and there's nobody bringing in product. Everybody's exiting the market. There's more people leaving the S&P and these other things than they're entering. That's not a good sign. You know, so that's the main thing that we're, we're watching at here for sure. Okay. All right. Now we have another one that I wanted to cover here. I've done that one. Let me did. I just did the tip. Oh, here's a really important one, at least from my perspective. Uh, oh, I've got a special on the natural gas, but that's on a different subject that I don't want to cover right now. Okay. Let's get this up here. Here is the euro, folks. Let me get this our, where we are. The euro has been in a trading range for a month with a high at 113.85, a low of 111.85. So it's a two-point range there. And believe me, we're coming into the beginning part of the year with this much. You see this time frame here between the 22nd, 23rd of November and where we are today? That's a solid month. It's either consolidation accumulation or distribution you have to decide what it is i think it's accumulation and the reason why is you went up to the 382 retracement on the first of december and you can't even break down below the 78 percent retracement for the whole month and of course you're having a big move today this is telling you that the dollar index is weakening and the euros are getting stronger that's just looking at the pattern that we're watching you know i i can't you know, that's all I can tell you. Remember, hold on one second here. We got a caller coming in, possibly. And we do from Spokane, Washington. Bob, what can we help you with? Uh, good morning, Larry. How are you? It's been a while since we've spoken, but I wanted to phone and wish you a happy holiday. Merry Christmas and a very thank good you. new year. And uh, thank you for all that you've done this year. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I've had a, a, a question, and you're discussing it right now as we speak about the euro. I was uh -huh. on hold, and so uh -huh. what your thoughts are with the possibility of the euro uh, from here uh, entertaining uh, 114.97 or somewhere around the 618 here? It looks so strong this morning. It does. The real key here for me, Bob, is if we get above 115, I mean, that's going to take out everybody that's shorted it since the 22nd of November will have losses at that point. Right now, you could flip a coin either way because it's gone nowhere. But to me, that means it's a lot of accumulation down here because of the fact that we should have rolled over to the downside. We did it. So I'm really getting bullish on the euro. So I'm uh, very, very, uh, uh, I think it's going to have a pretty big move. And if that's the case, we're going to have a big move in gold, too. So I hope that helps. Yep. Well, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Thank, Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year to you, Bob. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the weekly U.S. dollar index, and you can see the ABCD pattern uh, quite clearly. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down a time frame into the daily, and so we can see it on a daily basis. You can see the ABCD up there at 97. That's the one we saw on the daily, on the weekly chart. Now, we've been here for three weeks, just like we've been here, actually four weeks, just like we've been here with the uh, euro. But the difference is now is the U.S. dollar is breaking down and the the uh, euro is starting to go to the upside but we're also seeing some strength in the Australian dollar we were short that yesterday uh, ended up making a $700 profit and it's continued to go higher today but this is telling you that this dollar is starting to uh, shake the tree a little bit it's not nearly as strong uh, as it used to be ie the euro is starting to pick up steam so those are just a few of the things that you've got to watch here especially around this time of the year around the end of the year if you remember gold for the last Last three years, 16, 17, well, 2016, 17, and 18, made a major bottom in that December time period. It missed it in 19 and 20, but here we are at 21, and we might have made a major bottom down there at that 1755 level. So that's uh, the thing to be watching. If we can ever get gold to close above 1818 now, folks, that that's going to be a sign that this puppy is ready to uh, put the horses together and start moving really, really quickly. It's got a really big chance here for that to really happen so remind ourselves the uh just someone asked another question about uh another market that we don't follow uh, too much and that is the uh palladium if i can find oh, i don't have it anymore sorry about that boys and girls i do have platinum and as you can see here on the platinum chart uh, it's also made a, a double bottom. We did go out and we took out the bottoms of September the 20th in the platinum. And of course, we rallied pretty substantially from there. So there's a potential here that this is these metals are starting to look a little bit uh, looking very bullish, folks. You remember, we bought that 1755 level and we took a little over five grand out of that one particular trade and we shorted it, made a little bit on that. So it's acting pretty good. Uh, and that that's the real key to these things. So you can trade them without. Uh, an arm and a leg if you get down to the smaller time frames and smaller time frames I'm talking about right around 15 minutes now I want to bring something that's near and dear to my heart and I've never traded it but oh no don't tell me I can't do it shut the front door oh, these people with these programs here uh, what am I going to do I don't think it'll work but I'll try it Oh, it does work. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Hey, I'll be able to get this up. I don't know what it's going to look like to you folks, but hope we will be able to see it. This is the chart of Bitcoin here, folks. And believe me, folks, this this is really important here because that area of 45,000, if we break below 45,000 in Bitcoin, that is going to be the equivalent of 10 Christmas days. Because what that means is you're going to be breaking down really hard in an overall really bullish market. We could get it way back to that 28,000 level and maybe a little bit lower early in 
2022. And that's where, by the way, today's an interesting day, folks. Write this down. 12 2221. In other words, it's 122221. Isn't it amazing? Uh, you can do the, in other words, it's, you can start at either the front or the back, and it's the same. 12 2221. Uh, someone brought that to my attention. I thought that was uh, pretty interesting. So, hey, somebody already put that in there. Look at that. 122221. Of course, I like I like 222 because that's page 222 of Gartley's book where he talks about the Gartley pattern. Okay, now I wanted to bring one other one to you. I've got two others to show you here, so bear with me here. We did the platinum. Another one's asked a question about the, uh, hold on, where is it? Where is the Japanese yen? Shut the front door, Japanese yen. There we go. This is the one we've been watching in the Japanese yen. This is continuing to get up here, folks. We're almost up there now. So pay pay a bit close attention to that because that room will be a head and shoulders pattern. We started showing you that a few days ago. We'll update it to where we were uh, moving on the first four or five days, and we've continued to go higher in this. Hold on one second here. And one second, here we go. Okay, we just made a little, those of you that like uh, the three drive to a top pattern, we just made a three drive to a top pattern on the uh, 30 second oscillating momentum indicator at uh, 4674. And it's now trading at 4670. I lower my stop down to 4676. I'm not going to risk anything on this thing right now. Well, anything is nothing, but we'll see uh, whether we can or not. But that was a small pattern, and uh, we'll watch that here. Uh, but anyway, uh, this Japanese yen trade is a beautiful head and shoulders pattern. You have to do that one when it lines up. Well, you don't have to, but it'll be one that's got everything there that you could possibly ask for as part of symmetry and all the other things that we're looking at. On tomorrow's show, the Christmas Eve show, I'm going to try to do something special. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about moving averages because one of the things that I'm going to share with you folks on my next live trading thing is the program that uh, Commodity Corporation sold to Goldman Sachs for, I believe, $20 million 25 years ago, which because no one could believe it, but they did. And it is so simple. And the people that were involved with that thing are all passed away to that big trading room in the sky. And I'm going to share it with you. Whether you do anything with it or not, I don't know. I, I can give you the basics of how it worked. And it is so utterly simple that you can't believe it. It was so complex to build. But when they got it built and looked at it for what it was, it was one really simple market movement thing that really helps a lot and i will show you how that works uh, sometime in the fall or spring when we start looking at some of these others that we're paying a close attention to now let me get back to you on one other thing and that are these treasury notes folks i want to show you where we are with these notes and bonds just keep getting weaker and weaker you'll notice here that we've been in a range here for the last month between 129 and 131 this is extremely bearish, folks. Interest rates are going higher. I don't know if it has to do with the bend me over program. No, not bend me over. What is it? Build back better. Uh, it, it's a uh, uh, whether it's related to that or not. I'm not even. I'm not even sure. All I know is these bonds and notes just keep getting worse and worse and worse. And if you sell them on those rallies. And if you sell them on those rallies, you have a chance to make some pretty easy money. It's never very easy, but it's sometimes easier than uh, than it might be at another time. So remind ourselves of that. Okay, now let's move on here to one other one. And this will be the last one before we have other callers coming in. And that is our good old favorite, and that is the crude oil. This is where we were on Friday. We were very bullish because we had made that 61% retracement down there at 66, 64. We went through the 382 down to the 66, 64. We're heading now to a 135 pattern at 72. So pay attention to the crude oil at 72. It's going to be one that's going to be really, really interesting to watch. So there you go. Okay, I think that's about right. Is there a... Uh, has there was there an oil report today? Did it come out or not? Did the uh, did oil get above? I know it hasn't got above seventy two twenty three because that much I would have found out. But uh, we'll check this out here for just a second here, and see where we are. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seventy one eighty six. Any oil? Right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the chart. It came from the L.A. Way people. They have some really great statistics, and there was a whole group of them. I put them into the newsletter because they were so important. This basically shows how overbought the market is with the Rydux funds so heavily on the long side, folks. <laughs> you know, March 24th, 2000, I was in San Francisco. It's a money show. I've told this story before. I'm going to tell it again because it's the same story. I'm repeating it again because it's happening again. There's a train coming down the tracks. It's got a big red light on top of it. It's 100 miles an hour, and it's going to run over a whole lot of people. All you have to do, folks, is if you make a new high, I'm certainly going to be wrong. And if I don't make a new high, then I think we're going to make a big correction, and it's going to be a correction that's not going to last just a few weeks or a few months. It's going to be a few years. Starting in 2009, folks, we've been straight up. Okay, that's, so what, uh, 12 years? All right, we've not had that experience. only happened one other time. That was back in the time between 1918 and 1922, 1929. So uh, I'm not, hey, I, hey, forget it. Never mind. You know, it, <laughs> I, I remember getting up on that darn desk and yelling and screaming at the people. I'm tired of yelling and screaming. It either works or it don't. Hell, it don't make any difference. You're still going to be around. You'll still be able to buy your cream cheese eventually and stuff like that. But don't worry about it. The only thing I ask, folks, and I really mean this sincerely, try to help some of your neighbors out there, man. I mean, Tucson's a pretty nice area. And there are people here that are really hurting badly. I mean, they don't have any food. They don't have any jackets. They, you know, they're just really hurting. 
important. So try to help some people that don't have anything. You know, that's it. Don't get any presents for yourself. Hell, you got everything you need anyway. Help some people that really need something. You know, it's not the man who lives with the most, dies with the most toys wins. It's the man that does something for his neighbor that makes you win. And that's the whole thing that you got to try to do. It might be just a little fun. Go to the market for him. Go pick up a prescription. You know, take him to the doctor, whatever he has to be. But then if you see someone that, that needs a couple of bucks, a couple of bucks is not going to change your style of living. Yeah, maybe it's a scam, but hell, you don't know that. So live every day in an attitude of God, gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Santa and his reindeer are going to be here tomorrow, so don't miss the show. May God bless. 